once again, my brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus. I greet you in that name that's above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ. Every knee bows, every tongue confesses, because He, the Lord Jesus Christ, He is Lord. He's above it all. And in Him, we live, we move, and we have our being. And we continue on in the middle of all that this is. Um, doing the will of the Father as He reveals Himself unto us. And doing that which God has for us in this time. Because there is a reason, there is a purpose for us being here. There, it's not just to, um, just to endure, but God has an expression for us in the middle of all that's taking place. He has things for us to do. Jesus Christ, when he came into this earth, he had work to do. He said, I, I, I only do what I see the Father doing. I only speak the words I hear from the Father. Um, came here to finish. He, don't you know that i got to be about my Father's business? He finished his work. Um, it is finished. I was on the cross. So there's, there's, there's things that God has for us to do while we're here. And we engage in those activities. Now, you want that to be led by the Spirit. You don't want that to be something that is of your own making and of your own accord and of your own ideas set by the world because the world will use your your ability, your enthusiasm, your desire, your drive to use it to try to build their system. And <clears throat> the followers of Christ have been made more and more and more aware of that as time's gone on. You know, um, when when they were when they were building the nuclear bomb you can check out what the Manhattan Project was. There's all these different people that are working on it, <clears throat> but it was only the people at the very top that knew what was being put together because they com they compartmentalize people into different tasks, into different sections, and people were happily, you know, doing their jobs there and and working and putting something together and going for birthday parties and get-togethers after hours and all of that. But what were they building? Well, they were building um, <clears throat> the Fat Man and the Thin Man, which are the names of those two bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the nuclear devastation that took place as a result of that. But people didn't, that were there, it was only at the top levels that they know what the people were being brought together to do. And by keeping people compartmentalized, they didn't, have full understanding of what they were actually working on and and <clears throat> with that many people they may have had an attack of conscience they may have had um, questions about the ethics the morals and they had no frame of reference too for a weapon of that magnitude and that kind of destruction so but to keep people compartmentalized is is a way where you can harvest their labors but they don't see what their labors are being used for. The world has been doing that for a very long time. The world has been doing that to anybody that will participate in it for a very long time. <clears throat> because if you can harvest somebody's labors, you can get them to do and to build what you want, and they don't necessarily know or understand that the bulk of it, what it's being used for, is to build a better mousetrap for the next set of souls that come along. So, you know, the world doesn't want to lose any that come into this place. It doesn't want to see any souls leave this place and go on with Christ. It wants to keep them recycled and stuck in this machine and use those beings and use those souls to power their system on a spiritual and on a cosmic level. So, <clears throat> for, for the child of God... You know, when you follow Christ and he, he sets you free, you just do what he has for you to do. And that's very frustrating for the world because they want you to be um, doing what they want you to do, not what God wants you to do. So when you walk with Christ, he's going to have you in different places doing different things. But it's not going to work for the world because they can't, um, they can't get you to do their thing. Now... If you, if you follow Christ, he may have you exposed to some things 
to teach you, to, to help you to understand, to open your eyes. But there's going to be that point of decision where they're going to want you to come in and you don't want to because it's not within you. And um, you will, you will, as a follower of Christ, because you want to go with life and truth, you will follow that which is within you and that which is the Spirit of the living God leading and guiding you into all truth. You will follow that and you will forget about the consequences uh, and all the things that the world says are going to happen to you if you don't go with them. You'll go with truth. But when people go with the world, what ends up happening is that their labors and their efforts get compartmentalized and stuck into something that can be used to build their system, to build their trap, to build <clears throat> and to harvest the souls and the labors of man, to traumatize people in that process too so that they can suck the spiritual energy off of them. You know, the world is, is really a, 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 um, a terrible, terrible situation for what it is and what it is for for people. But Jesus Christ gives us the way and the way out. The way out is the way within. The way out is the way that Christ established. The way out is, is to connect with the Father and to be led and guided by His Spirit for the balance of your time. Now your life is no longer your own. Your life is now hid in Christ Jesus and the life you now live is is under His direction, His leading, His guiding for His purposes, not your own. And you know there's so much freedom in that. There's so much freedom in being able to walk with Christ in His way. Oh, man. And, you know, we need that. We need that in this time. We need the people of God walking with God in His way, not their own thinking, their own imaginations, their own thought processes apart from Apart from Christ, yeah, you don't you don't want your own thoughts apart from Christ, because those are going to lead down um, dead ends. Proverbs three five through six says, "There's a way in all your ways acknowledge the Lord, and He will direct your path." You know, you don't trust on your own understanding. You don't trust in your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge the Lord, He will direct your path. You know, there's a way that seems right unto a man, the end thereof are the ways of death. You know, there's a lot of things that are going to seem right to the natural mind, the natural man. But there's death waiting for people. That's so many paths that could go. And all those paths, they seem right. All those paths, they seem logical. How many people are in a world of hurt right now because they went down the path that seemed right and it seemed right to the natural man, but they're in a lot of pain. But if you follow the living God, His truth and His promises are there, and you can go with that truth, and you can go with His promises, and those will carry you through. So the world tries to keep those promises and that truth away from the people so that they live beneath their means and they live beneath an understanding of what is real, who they are who you are in Christ Jesus, who is your eternal self. They want to keep you away from that. And if you can be kept away from that, then you can be controlled. If you can be controlled, you can be manipulated. If you can be manipulated, your labors and your efforts can be harvested. If you can be harvested, then now what you would do and create is used for nefarious purposes rather than for kingdom purposes. You know, Jesus Christ talked about His people being, uh, <clears throat> being poured out. He said, out of your bellies will flow rivers of living water. See, God wants to pour you out according to His purposes. He fills you and pours you out. What the world wants to do is drain you off. And that's very different. You know, they when you pour it out, it nourishes people. It nourishes situations. It, it's with purpose. When you're drained off, then that's just you being used like a battery. So they want to stick you in a situation, in a place where they can drain the life out of you and turn you into a shell of what you once were, and then do it to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. No, the follow of Christ, you, wherever you are this day, you just go with God. You just go with the Lord Jesus Christ. You ask Him to lead you and guide you into all truth. You know, I was, <clears throat> um, I was 
just wanted to, you know, it's funny. When I turn on this recorder so often, I may have things in my mind that I want to get into. But, uh, you know, it's just God always has the place that he wants these talks to go. And it's incredible because, you know, it's just like the things that are even in my mind and my heart to talk about in the world of current events and current affairs is like, that's, you know, that's there. But what God wanted me to speak to you about was what we just covered. You know, you, you want to go with what God is doing. We not, we're not we never going to force our own agenda. We're always going to look to flow with what the Spirit of God is doing. And so, guys, God is doing this work with you and leading you. Just flow with them. All right. Hey, we love you guys. God bless you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there is a lot going on in the world. We do have things to say about the politics and all the rest of it. But um, we'll do that another time. Lord willing, God bless you guys. Drop us an email, faithmix at gmail.com. Say hi. Always, always, always good to hear from you guys. We love you. Be praying for us. Um, you know, there's struggles and challenges, but just be praying for everybody that's connected to Faith Mix and um, for the um, health and well-being of, of, of all of us as we pray for you too. In Jesus' name, Lord God, I just pray your blessing upon every listener right now that listens in. Father, we pray that you bless them, strengthen them, establish them strong in your principles and in your truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. We love you. We'll talk to you again sometime really soon. All right. God bless you.